Today we will do crude oil washing. This is on tankers. Now this started somewhere in 1960s because of this we need inert gas. Earlier tankers did not have inert gas. Because when we do crude oil washing, there is chance of uh, static electricity. So that is a chance of fire. And if we have inert gas, we can prevent the fire. So in crude oil washing, what is done? When tankers are discharging cargo, crude oil cargo, and the cargo level comes to stripping level here, this cargo is discharged. Then on the tank cleaning pipeline, the same cargo from another tank is pumped inside and you have tank cleaning machines. So the same cargo from another tank is pumped in the tank cleaning line and through the tank cleaning machine, this hits every part of the cargo tank and the cargo tanks gets cleaned by crude oil washing. So what are the benefits of crude oil washing? The first thing is, if you do not do crude oil washing, you have some drops on the bulkheads which remain there and are not discharged. But when you do crude oil washing, when the tank cleaning machine hits the oil droplets, they also fall down and get discharged. So the first benefit is more cargo discharge. Second benefit is sludge control. Less sludge is formed. When more cargo gets discharged, less sludge is formed. So if you have less sludge, there are two benefits. Like if you have a tank here, in which you have 2% of sludge, and you have another tank here, which has less sludge, let's say only 1%. So when you load your next cargo, you have more space to load if you have less sludge. So more cargo is loaded in the next one. And if you have less sludge, the other benefit, first benefit is more cargo can be loaded. Next, next voyage. Second benefit is if you have less sludge, so you have, you can discharge more cargo because more cargo will be flowing aft to the bell mouth and it gets discharged. So more cargo is discharged. So as I said, you need inert gas. Inert gas is any gas where the oxygen is less than 11%. So there is no chance of fire. Because for fire, you need oxygen more than 11%. So once inert gas started, then the crude oil washing started on tankers.